I'm John White. Welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. With me today is Terry Peterson, and Terry is a uh, homeowner here in the Las Cruces area that has kind of taken his water guzzling yard and, and reformed it into a nice Zurich garden. So Terry, tell us a little bit about your garden here. Well, I like, I like wide paths, and I like uh, gravel on the ground. The gravel really helps keep the dust down in the spring, and that's a real important thing around here. Most of the plants that you see here are native plants that grow locally in the Las Cruces area. And if you drive around, you can see these guys on the side of the road. You can see them along the desert. Uh, and most of them are very nice plants. Once you get them established, they don't take a lot of water and they don't take a lot of care. Uh, the bugs will get after them because the bugs have been here as long as the plants have been here. But the plants have learned how to exist with the bugs, so they'll survive without a lot of pesticides or a lot of, a lot of worry. Well, you have a nice mix of plant material. Let's talk about some of the plants here. You have a beautiful ornamental grass there. That is a, that is a real nice local grass. It's called side oats grandma. That particular clump is about three years old. Eventually, it'll get a ring in the center of it that's, that'll be dead and it'll make a nice ring, or about that time you can just take and dig it up and divide it and make a lot of other clumps. Okay. And then we have the nice kind of beginning to bloom over there in the background. That's a rabbit brush. It's really, really a good plant. And that little clump, there's three varieties, and each one blooms at a different time. Okay. Now I see you've got some uh, chocolate flower mixed in and, and uh, got some good color here. That chocolate flower, it's a real hardy plant. And if you get up close to that, when the sun comes up and those things just open up, it smells just like a chocolate bar. Okay. No kidding. Let's go take a look at another section of your garden. Sure. Okay. Terry, you got a lot of native rock in here, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I got all that from over there at the community pit around mm -hmm. uh, in the Robledos. Right Terry, tell us a little bit about this bed. I can see we have a a kind of a change from what we looked at prior. Right. This is a this is a raised cactus bed, and the idea was to get the small cactus up where a person could look at them and enjoy them without having to get over, and so you could see some of the smaller ones. Most of the bigger clumps of cactus are a kind of serious coccineus, a local cactus that grows right around Doniana. Okay, and you got a looks like a mix of uh, native as well as some introduced species here? Right. Uh, I get my cactus from uh, nurseries that uh, are one's over in Deming and he raises everything from seed and another one's up in Berlin and he raises everything from seed. Okay. All right. Well, let's go take a look at another section here. Sure. Let's go. All right. This is a nice kind of clean looking area here. Got a lot of different cacti in here. Well, this is a, uh, this is designed to do something different with rocks and gravel. I see you have some pots with uh, cacti in them. Is there a reason for that? Well, those cacti aren't hardy here. They'll, they'll freeze and, and die if I don't take them inside when it gets cold. Okay, so just kind of temporary housing. Right, okay. and they look nice. They want to be outside. Okay, got some color over here. Right, that's a nice paper flower daisy, the yellow one over here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a blackfoot daisy in there. Uh -huh. And then the purple verbena is starting to get a second bloom on it. Okay. Well, Terry, again, thank you for sharing your garden with us and showing people what you can do switching from a traditional landscape to more of a, a xeric landscape and, and saving water in the process. So, again, thank you for the tour. Well, thank you, John, and thanks for coming. <laughs>